Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about the Holiday DUI Task Force. Now, what happens is from Thanksgiving all the way through uh, New Year's Eve, they run the East Valley DUI Task Force, and that's where they flood the East Valley with police officers, and they try and arrest everybody uh, to see if they're drunk or not. So what happens is they pull over thousands and thousands of people, and then they effectuate arrests for about 20% of those people. So if you go out to a holiday party, or at Christmas, or for New Year's, and you're out drinking, take a cab, have a designated driver. If you do happen to be pulled over, don't think, well, I only had a few drinks, so I'm fine. Don't risk it. If the officer says, sir, have you been drinking? You give them the same answer as if he said, sir, did you rob a bank, or sir, did you kill 10 people? You say, I'm not going to answer questions or do any tests until I talk to my lawyer. Don't look at a pen and follow it with your eyes. He may arrest you, but he's probably going to arrest you anyway, and he'll only waste a couple hours of your life. You call us, we have a 24-hour answering service, 24-hour pager. One of our lawyers will call you back in five minutes, even if it's four in the morning. And we'll advise you on whether to take the blood or breath test or not. Now those field tests that they want you to do out on the street, you don't have to take those. That's perfectly voluntary and there's no repercussions if you refuse those. The problem is they're subjective, meaning the officer can say, well, he was stumbling, falling, looked really intoxicated, when in reality you did very well on the tests. So you want some hard physical evidence. So call us, we'll talk to you on the phone, figure out what you had to drink, and, and we'll do what's called a retrograde extrapolation, a math calculation really quick to figure out what your reading will be. Then we'll advise you whether or not to take a blood or a breath test. Now, the importance of this is at trial, the officer cannot comment on your invocation of your right to remain silent and talk to a lawyer. So what he will say is, I saw Mr. Jones weave, I pulled him over, he smelled of alcohol, I arrested him, took him to the station, he gave me blood, and I sent him home. And the jury will go, wait a second, didn't you offer him any field tests? What do you mean you just arrested him? You didn't even ask him if he'd been drinking. Well, in reality, the officer's not allowed to make any comments, so the judge will say, you're only to consider the evidence before you. Because remember, the state has the burden of the proof. So it works to your advantage if you say, I will not answer questions until I talk to my lawyer. And again, when you call us in the middle of the night, it doesn't cost you anything. This is a public service. We will talk to you. Um, but if you've been charged with a DUI and you're now just watching this video and you need a defense attorney, please give us a call or fill out our contact form and get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to talk to you. Otherwise, if you have not been pulled over but you're going to be going out, take a cab, get a designated driver, and have a happy holiday.